one of the rarest primates on Earth to the most endangered marine mammal in the world. Here are 11 of the most critically endangered animals. Damn, nature, you scary. Number 11, Atlantic Goliath grouper. These are large fish, as the name implies. They can reach sizes of 8 feet and weigh almost 800 pounds. Its population was declining rapidly until bans on harvesting the creature came into effect in 1990. Several factors contributed to the decline. Groupers were highly sought after for the high food quality, made it an easy target for spear fishermen. The fish produce relatively small numbers of offspring because they only reproduce for a short period. The groupers will return to the spawn and grounds like clockwork, which can make them vulnerable to mass harvesting. Juveniles can become the bycatch of commercial operations that are actually fishing for a different species. Number 10. Hawksbill sea turtle. These creatures have a worldwide distribution, and while they appear similar to other turtles, there are a few differences. The creature's name is taken from its beak-like mouth, which is more pronounced and hooked than others, and its carapace, or shell, has a serrated appearance. The shell, which can measure some three feet in length, is also known to exhibit a slight change of coloration in response to water temperature. There's an estimated 20,000 female hawksbill turtles left in the world, but despite that number, the reptiles are considered critically endangered. They're subject to commercial hunting, as their meat and eggs are considered delicacies in some parts of the world. Their shells are a source of tortoiseshell material used for eyeglasses and for decorative purposes. So that, along with human encroachment and pollution of the habitat, has led to an estimated 80% decline of the population over the past century. Number 9. Kakapo. Don't be deceived by its looks, this is actually the rarest parrot in the world, and weighing around 9 pounds, it might be the world's heaviest parrot as well. This nocturnal bird is flightless and is native to New Zealand. It has historical significance for the native Maori people, who featured it appearing in the folklore and legends. The bird was also hunted for its meat, and for its feathers, which were used to make clothes. The Kakapo's numbers began to diminish in the 19th century, due to deforestation efforts of European settlers and the introduction of predatory animals to New Zealand to reduce rabbit populations. As of June 2016, the bird's numbers were estimated at about 123 adults. Number 8. Eastern Lowland Gorillas. They're also known as Grower's Gorillas. In a single generation, the population of these animals has fallen around 77% from around 17,000 in 1995 to some 3,800 today. These great apes inhabit areas of tropical rainforest in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. They stand over five feet tall and can weigh more than 400 pounds. Their sharp drop in population is attributed to factors including prolonged civil war in the DRC and the animals being hunted for food, a practice referred to as bushmeat hunting. Number seven. Sumatran rhinoceros. This rare member of the rhinoceros family differs from its relatives in a few notable ways. For one, it's the only living member of its genus. And it's the smallest rhino, measuring around 10 feet long and weighing around 2,200 pounds. It has two horns, like the African species, and displays a coat of reddish-brown hair over most of its body. The creatures were once found in rainforests and swamps from India to Thailand and China. Poaching of the rhino for its horn, in addition to a diminishing habitat, have contributed to a deep fall in the population. In 2008, the numbers were estimated at around 250. Now, fewer than 100 individuals are thought to remain. Four populations are found on Sumatra, and one is on Borneo. Number six, the Saula. It's often called the Asian unicorn, and remains of the animal were first discovered in 1992 in Vietnam. Its only other known location is Laos. This forest-dwelling bovine is considered one of the rarest mammals in the world, and its picture wasn't taken until 1999. They're recognized by the two sharp horns, which can reach 20 inches long. Both males and females have them. Saula are critically endangered due to local trophy hunting and the illegal trade of fur and traditional medicines. Because the scientific community has a keen interest in the animal, that has motivated hunters to capture a living Saula. Habitat loss and becoming caught in snares set for other animals can also contribute to the low numbers. Number 5. 
Red Wolf. Did you know that by the 1970s, the pure red wolf was thought to have gone extinct in the wild? They once inhabited the U.S. from Texas to New York and was considered a top predator within its historic habitat of swamps, forests, and coastal prairies. Human hunters wiped out the numbers and habitat loss was thought to have finished off the animals. But since a population was reintroduced, the red wolf is thought to number around 50 to 75 individuals. Today, they're confined to a region of North Carolina where they are protected by law. Number four, Amur leopard. This animal is native to southeastern Russia and northeast China. They're differentiated from other subspecies by their thick, spot-covered fur and for the long limbs that allow them to easily adapt to deep snow. Threats to the population include poaching, deforestation, and industrial development projects. And as their numbers decline, inbreeding is a potential threat as well, as the gene pool is steadily diminished, resulting in a loss of genetic diversity. Today, numbers of this critically endangered species is estimated at only around 70 individuals. Number three, white-headed lungua. There are two recognized subspecies of this critter. One lives on Cat Ba Island in Vietnam, and the other is found in Guangxi, China. The one found in Vietnam is referred to as the Cat Ba Langua. It's considered to be one of the world's rarest primates. The creatures have long tails, which can measure more than one and a half times the body size and can weigh around nine kilograms. They live high up in caves and trees of the limestone forest. But a booming tourism industry on Cat Bar Island is threatening the habitat, and the animals have long been hunted and poached for use in concoctions thought to provide health benefits. The numbers have declined by some 80% over the past three generations. Today, there's an estimated population of around 70 individuals, so it's no wonder the Cat Bar Lungua was deemed one of the world's 25 most endangered primates. Number two. Saiga antelope. This creature is found in one area of Russia and three areas of Kazakhstan, where about 90% of the population is located. But it once roamed across a vast range of the Eurasian steppes, from the Carpathian Mountains to Mongolia. Evidence of their existence has also been found in North America during the Pleistocene. The Saiga antelope is notable for its unusual bloated nostrils that are closely spaced and faced downward. The unique configuration of the nose enables the animal to cool its blood and filter out dust, and in the winter it heats the air before it's taken into the lungs. Only males possess the horns, and they can reach 15 inches long and have up to 20 pronounced rings. The animals are critically endangered due to hunting and demand for their horns for use in traditional medicines. That demand caused the antelope to become extinct in China. In 2015, around 200,000 of the antelopes suddenly died within a two-week span. That was over 70% of the species. The cause was thought to be pastorellosis, a bacterial disease that can also affect humans. Number one, vaquita. This rare species of porpoise is thought to be the world's most endangered cetacean. It's native to the northern area of the Gulf of California. They're distinguished by dark rings around their eyes and patching on the lips. Females, which are larger than the males, grow to nearly six feet long. But overall, the vaquita is considered the smallest porpoise. A major reason for their population decline is the practice of illegal gillnet fishing. Gillnets involve a type of netting that prevents fish escaping by catching them by the gills and not letting go. While vaquitas are not the active targets of gill nets, they can become ensnared and drown all the same. Other threats include habitat loss, pesticide pollution, and natural predators. Only 60 individuals are estimated to exist. Without great conservation measures, experts think the vaquita could be extinct within five years, making it the fifth marine mammal species to vanish in modern times. Damn, nature, you scary!